Even now, Christians believe Jesus practice. Jesus is a Jew man, and he practices Judaism. And the law of Jesus is Torah. The law of Jesus is not New Testament, and there is no law in New Testament, anyways. And now I'm challenging any Christians. They are double-faced, some Christians. So they say it's got nothing to do with our Torah. So you can ask us about the New Testament. So my challenge to Christians, I want where it says in the New Testament, you cannot have sex and, and, and slaves and women, captives, women, and you cannot have sex with them. There's no way it says in the New Testament. I challenge any Christian to show me some challenge you to show me. Did you, did you show me where, where that means, will of God means the Ten Commandments? Show me. Show me the will of God is the commandments. Show me. Now what I'm I'm saying is my challenge. my challenge. Christians always say the Old Testament is got nothing to do with us. But when they refute Muslims, they quote from Old Testament refuting Muslims. But when we refute them by quoting from Old Testament, they say it's got nothing to do with us. See? They've been biased. They using two faces there. So now what I'm asking is the reason Jesus is going to ignore them here. So the reason Jesus will deny them is because of breaking the law and doing good and evil deeds. So that means Jesus never came to you guys to free from the law. Otherwise, Jesus, who you wouldn't believe to marry more than one wife, is against the law. What law is that? It's New Testament. That's what you believe. Okay, you so do not tell me Jesus came to free you. Four minutes. Four minutes. Okay. okay. You got four I'm minutes. Not repeating this time. Okay. You got four minutes. Can you, now, can you it was time used it? two minutes, and then I carry on. Oh, come on. I'm not lying. No, no, no. I swear. It's <laughs> nice. It's not two minutes. I'm not okay. Lying. I'll have three minutes. Okay. But I'm saying start, I didn't stop you. So we can start. Okay. Okay. Stop. okay, now I got three minutes. So first of all, he's talking about show me in the New Testament where uh, Jesus is saying that you have to marry one woman, not more, and this and that. I'll give you the word. What are you talking about? I'm talking about my challenge to you is I was proving your point in, as an invalid because you say okay, the you're, you're you're said, talking yeah, so we're not stop yeah, yeah. Okay. because you said Jesus came to us to free us to free us to free us to free us okay, from the law. From the law. Yeah. so if you believe that why would you still practice and uh, that and um, believe that um, polygamy is prohibited when you believe Jesus came to free you from the law which means you can do whatever so you want. So you're saying Jesus allowed for polygamy? No, I'm saying if Jesus, according to you, yeah. if Jesus came yeah. to free you Christians from the law, yeah. which means one of the law of Jesus, uh, according to you, of the laws is that you cannot marry more than one wife. No, 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 this is the New Testament law. No, 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 I'm following you, I'm trying to follow you. You're saying the new law that Jesus gave is that you have only one wife. No, Previously, they have But you say Jesus came to you Christians to free you from the law. Old law. Old law. Old law. Okay? Alright. Okay, okay. Now, now I'm gonna continue. Okay. Now I'm gonna right. start, start, start it again. Yeah, okay. Continue. Continue. Start. Resume. Okay. Okay. So, here is the worst. So, let me kind of... <laughs> okay. So, here is the worst. The thing is, he's saying that I said that Jesus came to free us from the Old Testament law. That's right. He did come to free us from the Jewish law. However, when it comes to the question of marriage, he said in the old days, we allowed for the, God allowed for the hardness of your heart. God allowed you to divorce. But I say unto you, because Jesus came and said a lot of things that I say from his authority, meaning he is God. That is why Jesus can only God can make these laws because these are the laws of God. So if Jesus is making this law, that means he's God. So he's saying this in Matthew 5, 20, 31 and 32. It says, uh, it was also said, whoever divorces his wife except on the grounds of uh, sexual immorality makes her an adulteress. Whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. This is the law for which Jesus is talking that this is what Christianity is. It's not like in the old days when Jews were marrying and divorcing, marrying and divorcing, just like Islam. Islam came and did exactly what Jews were doing. So that's what 
he's absolutely wrong, which I, I'm proving this, the Bible proves the, uh, in the gospel, he has his own law. Now the law of Jesus, they came and asked him, what is the biggest law? Well, they asked Jesus directly this question because of the law. They said, what is the biggest law? He said, the biggest law is love your God with all your might, with all your power, with all your mind. And also the second commandment like it is love your neighbor. Those are the, and that, and then he said God fulfills all of the law. That means that all the laws that Jews had would be fulfilled by one law. If you love God and love your neighbor, you will not commit, uh, yeah, but you, you said three minutes, right? Three minutes. Okay, so I got one minute. So that means that uh, you have fulfilled uh, all of the laws if you fulfill, and it's very, that's why it's so beautiful to follow Jesus. It's easy to follow Jesus. You don't have to take the first step into the toilet or do this or do that. He didn't come to give you that. He came to give you a moral law. He said, if you have moral law, that will take over everything. The law, moral law is love your neighbor, love God. If you love somebody, you won't kill them. If you love somebody, you won't lie to them. You won't steal from them. That covers all the laws of the Old Testament. That's the law of Christianity. Nothing else. Okay, go ahead. Okay, number one, uh, my challenge to him is, he said Jesus came to free us from the Old Testament law. I want a verse exactly where Jesus said that, number one. Number two, he criticized the God of Old Testament, which means he's criticizing also his God, by saying the, the law of Jews was, Jews was wrong by practicing captive women, and sex slavery same he said as muslims also we practice captive women also so basically according to him he's trying to say the old testament god the god of old testament and the god of new testament is different because he said the god of old testament is wrong and that means according to him the god of new testament is right and now he's saying again as i said i repeat again jesus until now christians priests all of them is scholars yeah. two minutes two minutes they believe Jesus practiced Judaism and he was a Jew man. Until now, Jesus, Paul said today, yesterday and tomorrow, Jesus is the same. Which means Jesus also now, he worships God the Father and he practices the law of Jew and Jews. He does not practice the law of Christianity. So now I'm asking my challenge, where did Jesus say, I came to free you from Old Testament? Exactly, word by word. Nowhere, there's nowhere Jesus said that. But Jesus said, I have not come to abolish the law of Moses, which means he came to practice the law of Moses. Opposite of abolish is what? Practice. You cannot when, uh, destroy the law of Moses and say to me, I have not I have not come to abolish the law of Moses. When you also, Jesus also himself practiced the law of Moses. Until now he practiced that law. Until I never finished that. So now, my challenge, my questions. Show me in the New Testament where Jesus said exactly word by word, I have come to free you from the Old Testament. And also, you criticize God of the Old Testament, which means you also criticize in your God, and you believe you have the same God as them. Okay, so he asked two questions. So, first of all, uh, Matthew 5, verse 20, 17 to 20. Do you think that I have come to abolish the law or, or the prophets? I have come to abolish them. I'm not, I've not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly, okay. So Jesus is saying, I'm fulfilling them because if you read the whole Bible, I'm not going to stand here in two minutes read you the whole Bible. That's not what I'm, Jesus is saying that I've come to fulfill the law because nobody has fulfilled the law. Okay, because it's not possible to fulfill the law. The law was built, was made to show you your sin because you cannot come to God with any sin. The law is there to show you that all are sinners. That's the point, except for Jesus. He's sinless. Even in Quran, it says he's sinless. Okay, what was the second question? Okay, okay, fine. I asked you, show me. No, no, you said in the Old Testament, you are saying the God of Old Testament was wrong. I'm positive. I'm positive. Okay, My question to you is, show me in the New Testament where Jesus said, I have come to free you from the Old Testament law. 
We are bigger. So yeah, I got it. Show me where he says that. All right. He's asking me to show him the words. I'm showing him this words because he came to fulfill the law. Because he said the law never saved anyone. That, I don't have the exact quote, but it is in the Bible. I don't have the exact quote. But it says, no one has fulfilled the law. The law is there. I'm, I'm answering that question. These are. I don't have the quote exactly because you gave me two minutes and you want me to find all the quotes. It's in in Google Christianity. No, no, I don't have minutes. one minute. I cannot I'll Google give you everything. Five minutes. No, no, no. I, I want a verse, clear cut verse where Jesus okay, says, listen, yeah, I, I have come to you from my, all the I want to make my point. I have two minutes. No, no, no. no. I, we have been going no. on for a while. He will stop I'll until you find this. He will stop Sam, until you find this. Sam, we just started the conversation. We already have the conversation. I'm not here to give you this verse, give me that verse. Where is this, where is that? I'm telling you, this is in the Bible. Now that you're saying the truth. I'm, I'm just, I'm answering his question. I can answer it the way. If you don't like, here's the thing. In Christianity, we are not supposed to half, half is the, the, the Bible to each word. We are there to learn the message of the Bible. We Christians, we follow the message of Jesus. We don't have to know each and every verse. No, he no, 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 because he's talking. Everybody's talking. So you gotta give me two minutes. Okay, I'll give you one more minute. Yeah, give me the minute. Okay, so that's all I'm saying. In in the in Christianity, it's not about you know. We can I can find you. What I'm saying is in the Bible because Jesus said I came to fulfill the law because nobody has fulfilled the law. The law was not there to help you to get to heaven. The law was to show you that you are a sinner and you cannot get to heaven. The only way you can get to heaven is through Jesus' blood. That's it. And then he said, what is the biggest commandment? He said, love your God and love your neighbor. So this is the law of the New Testament. Okay, has nothing to, so if he gives this law, that means that all, and it says in that law, it says this fulfills all the other laws. So that is your verse, that code uh, that I just gave you. You said you give me one minute. No, no, I'll give you, but I'm asking you, you said okay, something fine, wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You said the law of Old Testament is love your God and love your neighbor, yes? No, no, New Testament. New Testament. New Testament. Did Jesus go from Old Testament or New or Old Testament or New, uh, that he said for his own? When he said Jesus, love God and love thy okay, neighbor. So I will give you this. Is that is Jesus quoting from Old Testament or New Testament? And I'll tell you, he's not quoting, he's saying, he, because he's God, he makes the laws. That is the whole point. The Muslims don't understand. Jesus is not saying what God is saying. Jesus is saying, I am God. This is the new law. Love your God and love your neighbor. That's the law. So this is the law that Jesus gave. You, you're counting the time, right? You can count the time. Okay. So, I, and it fulfills all the laws. So he's asking me, well, show me the verse. This is the verse. It's saying that it fulfills all the laws. So that means that it's done. If you do this law, you're doing everything that God wants you to do. That's the answer to that question. In the Old Testament, now let me go to the second part because I got one minute, I want to finish it. I'm not going to go all day. So the second part is, he's saying, you're saying the Old Testament God is false. No, Jesus is quoting the, uh, the, 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 you were allowed to get divorced, but not really, that is not the law. The law is you have one wife, if you divorce her, that means you're committing adultery. So he's, he is saying, I can make new laws because he's God. That is his prerogative. He can do that. And he's done that. And that is what we believe in. Okay. So until now he... Okay, we're going to finish yeah, now. Yeah, let's finish let's do the minutes. closing I'm statement. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this finish is your closing minutes, statement. I'll yeah, get a closing yeah. statement. Okay, fine. Okay, so now until now I ask him to show me where Jesus said I've come to free, free Christians from the Old Testament law, but he doesn't have exactly specific, exactly word by word or from New Testament or whatever. Even in the Old Testament it does not say Jesus will come to free you from Old Testament. It doesn't say that in the Old Testament and it doesn't say that in the New Testament. My challenge, if, uh, I don't think you can provide me any clear cut verse from Old Testament or New Testament. So now, still now and now, I'm asking, he criticized the God of the Old Testament by saying the, the law of Jews back in the days practicing captive women and during the war and war booty, all that, and enslaving them, sharing them, those women and captive women, and you keep them as sex slavery, forced marriage, forced mother marriage, and if you dislike her, you let her go, you mistreat her as, pros as a prostitute. Yeah, so all that, yeah. So all that he tells us, all that he tells us, he said that's wrong because he said Muslims practice same as Jews. So according to him, he thinks Muslims were wrong and he believes the God of Old Testament 
also approved of that and there is no clear cut in the Bible in New Testament where it says you cannot have captive women, you cannot have sex slavery, you cannot force someone, you cannot have motor marriage, nowhere, there is nowhere in the Bible. Christians, when we ask them polygamy, it's sold as polygamy, it's prohibited, they go and run to the Bible, New Testament, and quote the verses, which also is irrelevant and out of context. But now, when we ask them, show us captive women is prohibited in New Testament, the law of Christians, there is no way it says that. That means they can do everything. According to them, they believe everything became halal for them. It's allowed in Christianity. Otherwise, he has to show you. All right. Here, again, he's wrapped up, and everything he said from the Old Testament was not in there. Because it never said you can have sex slave. It said you make her your wife. It said you can divorce her. Jesus came and said you cannot divorce women. That means there is no sex slavery. is not even mentioned because it doesn't even go there. Because the sex slavery doesn't even arise. There was no, never, Jesus never had slaves. On the other hand, Muhammad had slaves. So Islam allows for slaves. There was no sla no slaves, taken, you know, sex slavery taken in the Old Testament. Those were their wives. And if they divorced it, that was legal. So there's nothing in the Bible or the, so the part of uh, the Old Testament was different or anything. He allowed something in, the, in certain times for certain people because of certain things. But that does not mean, but the whole point of the Bible is the Old Testament is there to fulfill the New Testament, which is the coming of Jesus and the sacrifice of Jesus for the sins of humanity because the law never could save anybody. The law is there to condemn people to hell because nobody can fulfill the law and nobody has ever fulfilled the law. So that is the whole message. And then Jesus said, you know, it, it, it's only by the grace of God in Christianity that you're saved. And there's no, uh, nothing is allowed in, 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 in uh, Christianity as far as slavery goes. It was the Christians who abolished slavery. It was the Muslims who were forced by Christians to abolish slavery in, until the 1960s. In the 1960s, it went Saudi Arabia abolished slavery. And uh, Europe and everybody else abolished slavery hundreds of years ago. So it's false to say anything about Christianity and slavery. That's completely false. Okay. So I'm right. going to you conclude with this one. No, no, no. No, no, no. He okay. said Jesus made the law. Jesus okay. does not That's make okay. the I'm law. Done. Jesus yeah. said, according to the Gospel of John, chapter 12, yeah. verse 49, yeah. he said, Israelites will return to take down these